Well, Georgia's vast forest lands are not only important to Georgia's economy, but they're vital to Georgia's environment as well. Yeah, the industry strives to make sure the next generation learns about proper forest management. And one way to teach the kids is by teaching the teachers first. Right. Mark Wildman explains. Here among the towering pine trees at Big K Farm in Jones County, a group of educators are getting a very important education of their own. Assembled on these benches are educators from all over the state, and they are spending the entire week learning about the very important Georgia forestry industry. Basically what we do is we take the teachers through the whole process of forestry. We will take them to see the tree farms, like here at Big K. We will also take them to the mill to see the product there. We take them through the whole process, from seedling, we take them to a clear cut, all the way through to the lumber process. The tour is organized by the Georgia Forestry Association and partners with UGA's Warnell School of Forestry and Natural Resources and many others who have a stake in the industry. During the week-long event, teachers learn how good stewardship and management practices, such as controlled burns and proper harvesting techniques, makes life better for humans and wildlife as well. We've been to so many different forest farms in Georgia. Every single one is different. Every single one has given us such valuable information in such a fun way, but it's all been very different. And it's, it's taught us how, how they are so they're so well partnered with like land conservation and the land. I'm just so proud to be from Georgia after this conference. <laughs> I really am. Here at Big K, consultant forester Lynn Hooven explains how this farm is managed. The farm is owned by former Atlanta Braves baseball players Ryan Klesko and John Smoltz, and they are always willing to open up the farm to educate others on the timber industry. I think that we've got some good comments in the past. I think they're aware of uh, of that you can cut trees and still have it pretty. When you stand here and look around us, uh, we've had in the past 10 years, we've probably had 10 harvests out here in some areas you, you can't hardly tell it. So it's the education of what trees to come out, when to come out, and, and how you do it, and, and how you uh, reestablish the land after they have been harvested. The week-long workshop is more than just tram rides and demonstrations. There is a curriculum that was created to enhance the learning, and teachers get credit for attending. When it is all said and done, teachers learn a lot and are eager to pass the knowledge on when school resumes. For me to be able to experience it is going to enhance and enrich my teaching. So I just I can't even put into words how much. And um, I, I will definitely encourage other teachers to come, like I said, because there's so much packed into one week. In the next few years, the industry will be looking for workers. So hopefully they will have the opportunity to talk to their students about possibility of forestry occupations. And the other thing, just to see the whole forestry process, because a lot of people think that clear cuts are bad, fires are bad in the forest. So we want the teachers to go back with the, with the knowledge that that stuff is not bad. Clear cuts are good for the forest, fires are good for the forest, and in turn explain that to their students so that they have a better uh, understanding of the forestry industry here in Georgia. Reporting from Jones County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.